Many of you have provided basic technical support for family and neighbors, people that didn't grow up with the internet or computers. COVID-19 has probably prevented you from being able to visit these people and being physically present to fix their tech issues. But these at-home tech issues aren't going away. In fact, they may be increasing as people are more increasingly homebound and using tech more at home. So how do we resolve these issues? Over the phone can be painstaking and frustrating. So can video conferencing, but there is a way to remotely connect with someone to offer them remote support. You can help them with computer issues, issues they have on the internet, smartphone and tablet issues, and other hardware issues as well. Again, video conferencing is possible. You can connect with Zoom, Google Meet, Facebook Messenger, etc. And they can show you the issue that they're having and you can try and walk them through that process. But this can often be frustrating for both parties, so sometimes it's just better for you to connect remotely to their device and fix the issue yourself. This is where HealthTel's expertise comes in handy. We have over eight years of experience connecting with our members and helping them resolve their issues remotely. We have a variety of remote access software that we use and trust in order to connect with their PCs, their smartphones, and tablets. We also connect via the Log Me and Rescue Lens app, which allows us, with their permission, to connect to their smartphone camera and they can point out whatever issue they're having and we can walk them through their hardware issue. The remote access software that we use is for the most part commercial and could be a bit expensive and complex for someone to use, but there are affordable and trustworthy options that you can use for private use. If you are wondering who HelpCloud is and what we do, you can follow the What is HelpCloud link in the description or click the card above. What is remote tech support? Remote tech support as a third party option and service has come to fruition mostly within the last decade. It's a service that provides, in HelpCloud's case, is a month to month membership. Basically, it gives someone access 24 7 to remote technicians that can help them resolve any issue they may be having at home. Our main customers are seniors as they appreciate having someone they can call 24 7. They don't have to bring someone over to their home and they don't have to physically take their device somewhere else. We're there for them whenever they need it for any at home tech issue. We also do help all ages and demographics using our technician by the hour service. A company like ours that offers supplemental tech support services typically will use something like LogMeIn and ConnectWise. These are called remote access software. And remote access software is defined by Wikipedia as In computing, the term remote desktop refers to a software or operating system feature that allows a personal computer's desktop environment to be run remotely on one system while being displayed on a separate client device. Remote desktop applications have varying features. Some allow attaching to an existing user session and remote controlling, either displaying the remote control session or blanking the screen. Taking over a desktop remotely is a form of remote administration. What remote access software to use? Hands down, one of the best remote support solutions is LogMeIn, and they provide remote access on personal and network devices, as well as smartphones and tablets. The issue is cost. The second issue is that it's mostly meant for commercial enterprises like ours. You're probably better off with the next two options that I'll be listing. The next option is ConnectWise. ConnectWise is much more affordable, but not as flexible as LogMeIn. But for a computer-to-computer -computer connection in private use, it's great. Just $24 a month will get you the software you need in order to help someone out. TeamViewer is great and will get you everything that you need as well. It's free for private use, so it's probably the best and most affordable option in these times. But be sure to warn those that you work with to never connect with someone they do not know or a company they do not trust. A warning about remote access software. It is important to use vetted, reliable, and trusted software when you're remotely connecting with someone. Additionally, we encourage you to give the following guidelines to the person that you're helping. One, only connect with someone you know or a reputable and established third-party tech support company, examples being Geek Squad, Hello Tech, and Help Club. Sometimes your internet service provider will also use this software to connect and troubleshoot your internet. Number two, do not ever connect with an inbound phone call from someone claiming they are from Microsoft or claiming to be with another ubiquitous company. This is a widespread scam. They will trick someone into connecting and persuade them to submit their credit card information. Oftentimes, they say that a victim's computer is A, infected and needs immediate servicing, or B, the company is closing and they need to issue the person they're scamming a refund. They'll ask the victim to submit their credit card information in order to receive that refund while actually charging the credit card. Another huge red flag with that scam is if they ask you to connect remotely with them through some obscure website uh, and not through, say, Microsoft's website. On HelpCloud's website, you see that big green connect device button that we have on top of the site, across the site. That's for first-time customers. Um, for our recurring customers that have the membership, we have the HelpCloud Help Desk app, which they can access a technician through 24-7.
As a general rule, to avoid the scam, only connect and speak with companies that reach out to you when you have submitted a ticket for their help. Three, do not engage with pop-ups that state that your computer is at risk and you need to call a phone number immediately in order to resolve the issue. This is called scareware. Common issues resolvable via remote access or remote support. I'll list the issues that we commonly help with, as well as linking the resolutions to those issues in the description. You can also read the blog post, which has those linked as well. You can also use HelpCloud Search, which is our search engine, which we built that only focuses on tech issues and their resolutions. The issues that we help with is first, account login issues. This is huge. This is a frequent point of frustration for people that didn't grow up with the internet and didn't grow up with online accounts. Additionally, old ISPs have terrible user experience when it comes to resetting a password, recovering a username, etc. But you can easily help people through this process. It's fairly intuitive for someone that's grown up with the internet. Another issue that we help with is redirecting due to adware. Again, the link is in the description. Adware can also be plagued with scammers and scareware. We also help with slow computers. You can read our write-up, again, linked in the description, as well as seat cleaners. This issue can be due to a lot of things, namely lack of regular disk defragmentation, too many startup programs, too many unnecessary programs in the background, potential malware, large caches and too many cookie files in browsers, and a need to install system updates. We also help with a lot of data transfer, transfer of files from a smartphone to a desktop, etc., backing up files, simple help with formatting documents with Microsoft Word, PowerPoint, Google Docs, etc. We help with issues on the internet, but that's very limited what we can do there. That's mainly the ISP, the internet service provider that does stuff there, but you can always have them restart the router to see if that resolves the issue. And we also help with smartphone and tablet issues. Again, see the description, we'll have all our links there. How to connect with remote support. Connecting with remote access software differs by browsers, devices, and operating systems. The easiest for us has been typically connecting to Windows PC. You may experience difficulties or will completely be unable to connect with operating systems that have had end of extended support. In other words, the system no longer has security updates, patches, etc. A recent example is Windows 7. Each of the softwares that you would purchase, whether it's TeamViewer, ConnectWise, or LogMeIn, should have how-to tutorials for you. But there's also a lot of how-to tutorials on YouTube. We are available for limited questions and concerns that you may have, um, advice, etc. Just email us at support at helpcloud.com. Again, linked in the description is the blog post. In that blog post, we have four issues that you may have. And with those issues, we have the resolutions. They typically are issues that you have on operating system, issues with user account control, and other permissions on Mac devices. There can be a myriad of issues that you may have when connecting to someone. You're giving user account control, or rather they are, and sometimes an operating system blocks that. There's a lot of issues that come with it, for a good reason. Because of this, again, refer to the warning that we gave about remote access software. An operating system will block the download of this type of file. Again, follow the blog post. We have those resolutions in that blog. And the issues that we help resolve that are linked in the blog post are one, user account control permissions, two, the Windows 10 message, the app you're trying to install isn't a Microsoft verified app, three, gatekeeper issues on Mac OS, four, getting permission to control the mouse on Mac OS. Also linked in the description are links to our videos on how we connect with mobile rescue. That means how we connect to smartphones and tablets, as well as Rescue Lens app, which allows us to connect with their cameras so they can point at the hardware issue that they're having. This whole process will have a learning curve and the first time especially may be difficult, but as soon as you guys have connected a few times, you helping the ones that you love and care about, it should become a breeze. And I think it's admirable that you're learning something new in order to help someone without physically being there, keeping you safe, keeping that person safe, while being able to help them at the same time. The need for remote tech support will continue to grow as people continue to be at home, trying to work and connect with the family that they love and care about. Again, we can help with limited amounts of questions and concerns. Just email us at support at helpcloud.com. And as you probably sense, quite frankly, this video is a marketing pitch. I do hope that some of you are able to learn how to do this and able to help someone one-on-one. -on -one. But you can also refer them to our Help Cloud Tech Support membership, which is month to month. Again, card linked above. Thanks. Stay safe, stay healthy. Boop, boop, boop. Done with COVID. I think that's it.